What up, everybody? So, uh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> this is my review of the K Dang K60 X Fighter. I guess that's because it looks kind of like an X. <laughs> so, this is, um, this is the quad here. And I do have the camera and the landing uh, feet on, landing gear, whatever you would prefer to call it. So, um, all right, so let's talk about it, I guess. <laughs> so, I like this thing. Uh, you know, before I say anything bad, I like this thing a lot. I, I, I enjoy flying this. There are a couple of bads that I can point out, but... Um, this thing, if you've seen the night flights of this, this is one of the coolest night flyers uh, that I've ever had. Uh, it's pretty damn amazing at night. Um, but let's go through a couple of bad things. So, um, the yaw could be faster. Um, obviously, this is kind of geared, you know, more towards being a camera quad than a sport quad. Um, with this big camera and these huge feet. Um, so the yaw isn't, isn't quick enough, um, I would like it to be quicker, but that being said, it's got a very nice pitch angle, so it's pretty deep, so the, the yaw isn't too big a deal because combined with the pitch, uh, in a funnel turn, uh, it'll turn pretty quick, so, but I, if the yaw was faster, this thing would be much improved. Um, th this, this transmitter is actually really nice, but, uh, the flip key is up here and trying to get, I mean, trying to get your finger there to do flips and forward flight like I do, uh, it's almost impossible. And otherwise you gotta, you gotta take your thumb off the aileron all the way and click it and not a good place they should be up here on the shoulder uh, the shoulder buttons should be on the shoulder not on the front uh, the rest of the buttons you know the high low that doesn't matter too much up there the headless and the uh, return home key I never use but I guess those are easier to get to you know you can have your throttle up and uh, not too bad, but uh, the flip key should not be there. It's it's awful. Um, and then the only other bad thing I can say really is that it seems a bit either heavy or underpowered. And I know it's got you know the bigger eight mil eight point five millimeter motors or whatever they put in these camera quads. But if this had some motors like from the tarantula. The FX7C, those big, odd-shaped motors, man, if it had some of those in here, whew, this tank would be smoking fast because of the pitch angle. But I feel that it's a little underpowered. Um, with the camera and the feet on, it, it's definitely not as stable in the turns. It's definitely, you can feel the weight of these two things with it stripped down and, you know, God forbid someone puts these prop guards on it and the feet and the camera. This thing's going to be kind of, eh, it's going to be a little bit, so that's a little bit much. I, I feel like with it all stripped down, it flies, uh, you know, really well, but it still feels just a little bit slow, even with its pitch angle. So, but, you know. They can all be speed demons, and this one's not a speed demon. It's not slow, um, but it's fun to fly, you know? It's very fun to fly. It looks really cool, so let's start talking about the good. It looks really cool. I mean, it does, especially at night lit up. This whole thing lights up, the white body one, and I'm not talking about just the lenses. I'm talking the whole body, and it has a distinct line down the middle with the red in the back and the blue in the front. It's like a solid line. Uh, no problem with orientation with this thing at night. Uh, probably the best quad for orientation I have. This thing lights up amazingly 
and it's so the colors in the front and the back are so so distinct uh, even better than the Sky Dreamer and uh, you know for those of you who are JJ1000 fans this thing lights up way better than the JJ1000 and that's saying something both the Sky Dreamer and the 1000 light up you know amazingly so um, without the camera and the feet this thing flies real nice I have a fun time flying this it's like I said it's a pitch it's got pitch uh, the pitch angle is pretty deep full forward flight you know it's gonna kinda dive a little bit um, so this is like a pitch flyers uh, quad for sure um, uh, let's see what else is good actually the camera's good which is you know kind of odd for me to say because I don't care about the cameras on these things but this takes the the flight um, one that I have up with this camera it was so windy but on a on a steady day this camera's pretty good and not a lot of jello the jello that I had originally was caused by the high wind and not so much the vibrating of the quad so it's pretty good and then um, here, let me turn it on for a second so this one, let me turn it on. Uh, okay, there we go. So this one comes with a camera. Uh, it's a two megapixel, and it has a, a gimbal there inside the camera. That's why the casing's so big, I guess. So to use it you use the um, trim key here so and if you give a little bit less inputs that I'm giving <laughs> it'll it'll move in smaller increments uh, especially on the way down there we go so when you're trying to put it back up it snaps almost all the way back up when you go up but you can give smaller inputs and have it change um, and then you can have it face totally pointed down, which might look cool sometimes. I'm not sure, but it does have it, and it works very well. Um, so the camera's pretty good. Like I said, it takes pretty good video and pretty good pictures, um, and it has that gimbal, which I think is you know pretty nice for a little toy quad. You can see how well this lights up even in the bright daylight. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this thing, I, I like this thing a lot. Uh, if you want a really nice night flyer, I would highly recommend this for night flying. It's just so much fun and it looks so cool. And like I said, stripped down, this thing flies really good. A little heavy with the camera and the feet on it. Um, I'll take a look at the transmitter real quick. Uh, I already kind of showed it to you. The buttons are in the wrong place. This is for the camera when it's attached. Otherwise, the trim works. And this is a dummy button or dummy uh, lever here because I thought at first that was for the gimbal, but it's this. So um, let's see. It has a full set of spare props, screwdriver, USB charging cable, and. Um, a full set of prop guards that will remain forever in that box. Dogs barking. So it's got a 650 milliamp hour um, 30C battery. So it's it's got a pretty good battery. And this battery bay is so big you could fit you know, I have other ones, but not a lot of 30 C's, but I have other ones, big ones that'll fit. And I mean, that thing is huge. The battery compartment's huge. Um, another good thing is that all of this stuff is plug and play. So the motors and, you know, everything inside is, is plug and play. So it makes it uh, real easy to repair, to replace motors when you have to. Uh, that's always a plus to me. Um, so that's good. Uh, and yep that's pretty much it so like I said the prop guards are the, they come with them uh, they're I, I'm done taking them out of the box for the sake of a review they come with them um, so all right 
I think that's about enough. Uh, I really like this uh, quadcopter. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. It's it's very very nice to fly. Just not fast. Not fast enough for me anyway. But uh, get some bigger motors on this thing would be like <laughs> this thing would be amazing. But anyway, so let's check out the. Um, we'll go do a little flight demo outside, and I'll show you the. Um, three rates I think it no it has two rates and one yaw and I'll do a little flying we'll turn the camera on and if you guys want to watch some of that it'll be on after the credits so all right uh, let's go check that out all right guys so this is going to be the flight demo of the K-Dang K60 X fighter and it's got three rates and I think it has two yaws uh, low and then medium and high seem to be about the same. And low seems a little bit slower to me. Uh, we'll go through the pitch and the yaw. I'll do a little bit of uh, filming. It's a lot less windy than the last time I tried that. So we'll check out the camera. And uh, you'll see that after the thanks for watching credits. So, all right, this is in the low rate. That's, that's wind pushing it there, but uh, super, super stable. So, all right, so let's check out the yaw and low. So, maybe it just has one yaw. Uh, that looks about the same as medium and high. Make sure I'm in. Yeah, okay, so this is low. So that's the yaw. All right, so here's the pitch. And you know, for a low rate, it's not too bad. It's not as docile as some pitch. Roll. All right, so not too bad for low. So um, like I said, so stable. Uh, so this is mid rates, and here's the yaw. So looks about the same to me. Get it a little closer here. It's about the same to me as low rates. Uh, so not super slow, but not fast. All right. So here's the pitch and the roll and mid rates. Well, it gets a little bit better. No, not too bad. All right, so okay, here's high rates now. And there's the yaw. So yeah, it looks about the same to me. So just one yaw, I guess. Looks about the same to me. It's not a not fast, not not painfully slow though. All right, so here's the pitch and high, and you know it's got a pretty decent amount of pitch and high. Uh, I feel like the camera and the feet um, kind of lessen the pitch a bit and high comes of the weight seems to me anyway because when I fly this with it stripped down it has a bit more pitch but high rate pitch is nice all right so while we're out here let's check out a flip oops the wrong button there So not too bad, the button's just in a really weird spot. So let's just do some flying here. And this is with the camera and the feet attached, so it's not quite as nice as when they're not on it. Dips a little in the turns. 
because of the extra weight. So pretty nice flyer. All right. So bring it in. And I'll turn on the camera. Okay, the whole quad flashed. So should be filming now. So let's see if we can get some stable footage where I'm not using a uh, pitch too much. Trying not to pitch it, but the wind is moving it around, so just wanted to get as stable of footage as I could up there. Push it out just a bit. Uh, that wind pushes it back towards me. So, uh, forward pitch isn't a great thing with uh, filming. So let's do a little flying. Change the camera angle. So now the camera angle is pointed straight down, which is <laughs> kind of crazy. Do a little circuit here. Our camera should be back up. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're in LBC. So that was good. Did a lot of filming. Um, sweet. That's the review and flight demo of the K60 X Fighter by K Dang. Um, check out the onboard footage here right after the uh, thanks for watching credits uh, and thanks for watching.